In between all this, for accredited investors, you have funds. You have hedge funds, you have ICO funds, you have these hybrid venture hedge funds, which I'm in the process of launching, and then you have the venture funds. These all have varying amounts of risk related and reward related to investment in them, but these provide institutional investors access to a much broader array and broader portfolio of assets, and often much earlier than at a point that most consumers can get in at. Uh, to be clear, this entire new asset class is risky, is speculative, and if you get arrogant, you're going to lose your money. So be humble, have a lot of Bitcoin and Ether in your portfolio, uh, play the long game, and you'll probably turn out all right. Really happy to share this stuff with you guys, and I cannot stress this enough, that you need to be humble, do not get arrogant, and be careful because you can lose. And in this market, all I've been doing is buying Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's pretty much it. I've uh, considered buying altcoins, and probably I will as the Bitcoin dominance goes more uh, further up. But I'm really just waiting for everything to kind of fizzle out before I do that. And for now, I have been just buying Ether, Bitcoin, and trying to stay humble, trying to learn. And it sucks because uh, I, you know, was up so much in, uh, you know, I started buying in July uh, and in January, man, I was just telling everyone, oh, my cryptocurrency is so great. I'm doing so well. Uh, I was smart enough not to really give numbers or try to stay somewhat humble. And you can go through this channel too. I don't really put out numbers, but I've gotten crushed and I thought that the dip was at a $10,000 Bitcoin and go through my videos when Bitcoin went under 10,000 I'm like this is the opportunity you need to buy um, and I was wrong I mean obviously uh, what's well, nice is I'm pretty liquid and I still stay very very liquid so I have plenty of cash to continue to buy this dip but I did catch myself being a little arrogant and uh, that's why I kind of liked investing in this asset class. It's you, it's the stock market on steroids and you, there's a lot of lessons to be learned and you really don't learn unless you're putting where uh, your money where your mouth is. And uh, I enjoy this. Uh, real estate investing is something completely different and that's where I've made most of my money. Uh, timing is huge in real estate. I bought most of my uh, portfolio uh, in 2010 to 2012. Uh, definitely not leveraged on that. Uh, I got great rates at like 4%, uh, a little bit under 4%. So uh, a lot of my cash I've been accumulating was, you know, I stopped buying in 2012. So, you know, when 2013 and 14 came by, I was like, oh, the real estate market's overpriced and really just stayed out of everything. I missed kind of the st even the stock market boom, which is unfortunate. But once I saw cryptocurrencies, I was like, you know what, this asset class is going to outperform real estate. And I still feel that way. So uh, only time will tell, but I'm very happy to be able to cover this, share this material with you guys, and hopefully <clears throat> provide some good advice. But leave your comments. It really helps with the growth and uh, the growth of the channel. And uh, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys soon.